going to get more and more remote as we head down the Baja. There is nobody coming to help us. There are no medical professionals. The cops aren't going to come help you. There's nothing but what we have here, ourselves. As soon as you drive across the border, the rules change, and it's whatever you want to do. We ride where we want, do where we want, pop wheelies on the beach. There's no problems here that can't be solved with maybe a $20 bill and a smile and, and a sticker. I mean, I remember riding first time on the beach. It's, uh, you feel very free. You see trees and a lot of green, lush areas with you know rivers running through them. And, that's one of the most beautiful places in the world that I've ever been. To the OX. Yeah. Tomorrow morning when we leave here, we're gonna ride 18 miles of graded road to the mud hills, and we're gonna make a right turn, and we're straight going out into the Never Never. No cell service for the next three days. It's super remote. probably how the Wild West was. You're just out here riding through these areas and you know sometimes you just look around and it's 100, 200 miles to anything in any direction and it's pretty crazy stuff. Found a cactus that needed a hug. I'll do it now. Hey guys, we're going to pull these out of me what you said. Yeah, yeah. We're working on it. Everything is needles too. It's like pure danger. bike was probably about eight feet in the air doing cartwheels. Hold it. Hit, hit a rock. Yeah, just fold it under. The pain was excruciating for like 10 minutes. You're sore, you can't walk, you have blisters, your head hurts. You know, you're just mentally fatigued and you just gotta dig deep. Good job everybody, you guys are crushing it. Over 200 miles today and uh, it just got dark on us. That's why we got these lights, right? I think as each day goes by, more and more you respect all the guys you're riding with. You just become, you know, lifelong friends. There's no, there's no way around it. Everybody's original. They don't fake it. This is us. We ride dirt bikes in Baja because we love it.